So some of you may have seen our awesome segments on Ninja Warrior training and Mud Run training. We were so inspired that we wanted to find out what the biggest and baddest Mud Run is out there. But today, we are here in Bartow, Florida, home of the 2017 Central Florida Tough Mudder. And I'm joined here with fellow EBC Florida correspondent, Melissa Potas. And what are we expecting today, bro? We are expecting a lot of running, a lot of obstacles that are going to require upper body strength and endurance. We're going to go out there and try to conquer obstacles like the two that are right behind us. Well, there you have it, everyone. I hope you can enjoy our adventures today as we conquer the tough month. As most mud runs begin, runners gathered at the start line to receive reminders and get hyped up from the MC. We then propelled through the start line and began our journey. After about a half mile, we ran into our first obstacle, Kiss of Mud, a low crawl obstacle where you definitely get muddy. Next, we went through about a hundred feet of cargo netting, of course with the help of our fellow mudders. A lot of climbing came into play when we had to conquer the Berlin Walls and King of the Mountain where we had to scale mounds of haystacks. Oh, and of course we went through some more mud trenches to stay muddy and wet. This obstacle was a tough one. We low crawled into tunnels then ascended only to be dropped into a water pit. One of the great perks to running the Tough Mudder was not only water stations along the course, but they also provided complementary energy gels to sustain your energy levels throughout the race. Thanks Tough Mudder! The Warrior Carry The Tough Mudder honors the Wounded Armed Forces vets, and by doing this challenge, they help us remember the fallen. Now, Back to more walls to climb over. One of the toughest obstacles that you definitely need help getting over is Everest 2.0, a large warped wall with hanging rope to get you up and over. Oh. Did I mention more mud trenches? This is the Blockness Monster. Two long rectangular rotating blocks where mudders had to scale up and over through water. These blocks were very heavy to rotate, which is why it required fellow tough mudders to help rotate. On to one of the final obstacles, Kong. This beast of an obstacle required major upper body strength to help you swing through to the other side. And of course the best part of it all, crossing the finish line and earning our Tough Mudder headbands and finisher t-shirts. All right, there you have it folks. We just finished the awesome Tough Mudder and man, it was truly a long but awesome experience. Mel, what was your favorite part of this whole experience with the Tough Mudder? I think the best part about this experience is that uh, it really showed the camaraderie and teamwork that you needed. Some of these obstacles were really hard to do without the help of the other Tough Mudders. If we did it on our own, we wouldn't have been able to accomplish any of this. So really the camaraderie and working together made this experience the best one. Awesome. Well, there you have it, folks. Hope you guys enjoyed our adventure out here in Bartow, Florida. We are your EBC Florida correspondents, Jay Rosquitas. And Melissa Potes. And we are Always, Always One, one with, with 25. 25. Hello Digital Nesters, thanks so much for watching this video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to watch our future features.